Hello, this is NWS Columbia meteorologist Steve Lavoie coming to you with a severe weather briefing for the upcoming multi-hazard event on Tuesday, January 9th, 2024. The information contained in this briefing is valid as of 3 p.m. on Monday, January 8th, 2024. So taking a look at the highlights for tomorrow's event, the Storm Prediction Center has placed much of the Midlands and CSRA in an enhanced or three out of five risk for severe weather on Tuesday. The primary severe hazards for tomorrow are going to be the potential for strong damaging wind gusts, but we also have a secondary threat for isolated tornadoes. We are watching the potential for significant severe weather, which we're defining as wind gusts greater than 70 miles per hour and significant or EF2 or greater greater tornadoes. As I mentioned, this is going to be a multi-hazard event, and we've issued a wind advisory for the entire forecast area on Tuesday. What this means is that we are expecting gusty winds to develop both before and after the severe weather moves through the forecast area. Finally, we are seeing the potential for heavy rainfall, and a flood watch is in effect for Chesterfield and Lancaster counties on Tuesday. We'll talk about the severe threat in a few minutes, but first I wanted to go over our wind and flood threats. As you can see on screen, a wind advisory is in effect from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Tuesday. This is roughly the time period where we're expecting the strongest winds outside of thunderstorms. One thing we want to stress is that strong winds are possible both before and after the passage of the severe weather, and it looks like gusty winds could continue through the overnight hours and into the first half of the day on Wednesday. With this in mind, now is the best time to store or secure any loose items. This time of year, one thing many people don't think about is if you have any Christmas decorations that are still out. Now is a great opportunity to bring them in so they don't get blown away tomorrow. And with the potential for damaging winds, there could be isolated to scattered power outages as well. Here are a few things to keep in mind should you lose power at any point tomorrow. In terms of the heavy rainfall threat, rainfall amounts have been increased across the forecast area from this morning. We're now seeing the potential for widespread one and a half to three inch rainfall amounts across the region. And while the risk for flash flooding during the day on Tuesday remains low, we are seeing an increased risk for river flooding later this week. Taking a look at the severe threat itself, it looks like showers and thunderstorms are most likely across the Midlands and CSRA from midday until the early evening hours. What we're expecting is a line of showers and thunderstorms to develop along and ahead of a cold front moving from west to east across the region. In addition, we could see more isolated thunderstorms develop ahead of this line, and it's these thunderstorms that we're most concerned about for the development of stronger tornadoes. And it's the thunderstorms that develop along the line that could develop brief tornadoes that develop with little to no warning. Taking a look at specific timing across the region, the line is expected to enter our western forecast area around midday, reaching the Augusta area around 2 p.m., the Columbia area around 3 p.m., and I-95 around 5 p.m. So wrapping things up, it looks like the greatest hazard tomorrow will be from the wind. This is going to be both from the severe thunderstorms that are expected to move through the region and the gusty winds both before and after they move through. There's also that secondary threat for isolated tornadoes, both ahead of and along the line of showers and thunderstorms. And while less likely, there is a limited and non-zero threat for both small hail and isolated flash flooding. It has been a while since we've seen severe weather across the forecast area, so I wanted to remind you quickly about the differences between a watch and and a warning. A watch means that the potential for severe weather exists, and when a watch is issued, that's the best time to make sure that your severe weather plan is ready and prepare for the possibility of a warning. When a warning is issued, that means that severe thunderstorms or tornadoes are either imminent or occurring, and that's the time to take action and get to your safe place. And while there's a lot going on tomorrow, it does look like we could see another storm system later this week, specifically on Friday, and it could bring similar hazards to the Midlands and CSRA. Wrapping everything up, there's an enhanced or 3 out of 5 risk for severe weather tomorrow, with the primary severe hazards being gusty winds and isolated tornadoes. In addition to the severe threat, we are expecting breezy conditions throughout the daytime hours, lingering into the overnight and part of Wednesday, and a wind advisory is in effect from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. on Tuesday. Finally, there is the threat for heavy rainfall, and we have a flood watch in effect for Chesterfield and Lancaster counties on Tuesday, and we are seeing the potential for flooding on area rivers later this week. And that wraps everything up for this weather briefing. This was NWS Columbia meteorologist Steve Lavoie. Stay safe, and as always, remain weather aware.